Can I be heard? And it's been a while since I went live. And it's been a while since I went live. Mm-hmm. There we go. Hit the like button, hit the share button, let everybody know I'm live. I was going to do a video, but I was like, man, I keep seeing things on Twitter that just annoy me. Annoy me. The hardest thing to be in today's internet is reasonable. All right. It's been a while. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the share button, say something in the chat so I know you there. That I know you there, so I know you there. Say something in the chat so I know you there. Hey, so I know you there. All right, y'all, what's up, everybody? It's the best spot, Kiss Moving. I'm live. Uh, Check out playing Xbox 34 on Weapon Wheels channel, Patreon. Uh, I owe you guys some videos um, as well. Uh, man, slow news, slow news, man. Just to give you guys an update. <sighs> we have idiots among us. The video game commentary is full of idiots there's no wise men amongst us to any degree to any degree <laughs> like y'all don't get sick of people pretending to know what they're talking about i think we're in a era of people just wanting to talk just always have it. Someone always having to have something to say. Yo, I just realized Shadow of the Tomb Raider. There's an eclipse in the. <laughs> I don't know. I never. It never like occurred to me that that was a, a solar eclipse in the background of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But all right, we're gonna talk about a couple of things in this conversation. I don't know how long this conversation is going to go, but man, I am sick of it. Shout out to Aaron Johnson. He says people care about everything but playing games. And that couldn't have been more true. Couldn't have said it better. Uh, he says, been a while since I uh, we got Sir Dre the Great. He says, been a while since I seen you did a live. You know what? It has. Um, I don't know how to play the games of YouTube. Um, what I'm seeing on YouTube is a lot of the content creators who used to just make videos they just go live and that's it they just go live every day they just go live whether it's gaming or just regular youtubers they just go live and talk for hours i don't know what it is i still miss the old days of youtube just making a video creating something that's somewhere between three to ten minutes and hopefully it does well hopefully I, I think videos are evergreen. I can't watch a live stream back again. I, I there's no that's why I don't understand it. It's like videos I like to go back to. I I don't think I've ever gone back to a live stream. I don't think I've ever gone back to a live stream. Uh, shout out to Blessed Red, uh, Lady Hawk, Spider Man ninety one, Spidey Man, Spider Man nine eleven GT two, uh, Mega three hundred. My numbers are all messed up. Mega 3000. Smooth. Why they putting manly looking shorties in our games? 
Shadow Spade. Shout out Smooth. You just say this, but we was pulling up the same crap for Spoken recently. Stellar Blade. Just go live. He said just go live. Uh, Aaron John. All right. Yeah. All right. Here, here's the thing. I'm going to come out and say this. Hellblade 2 is the best looking game we've seen to date. It's, that is tangible. It's almost in our hands. It's a month away. It's the best looking game to date. It's the best a uh, graphical fidelity game that Unreal Engine 5 has produced since the Matrix Awakening demo. Um, the thing I hate about the discourse online and talking about this game, it's like, okay, oh, it was 30 FPS, you know, completely understand that. You can have the gripe. I don't have anybody, I don't, I don't have issue with anyone being upset by that. You know what I mean? Especially that we, for the last three years, We've been playing cross-generation games at 60 and 120 frames per second. So I can understand going back to 30 frames per second can be a problem. Um, if you want high frame rates, though, there it, there is PC. Personally, I prefer consoles, but there is PC, right? So um, the thing that I don't like like about these people is the disingenuous in them. The... The the um, the talent to make bad of everything. Um, so Hellblade Two is a talking topic. It's coming out, and, and I don't know why people are wasting their time. It's like I thought. Like, isn't Xbox like about to go away? Aren't their games all going to be on PlayStation? Are you guys going to have the same level of hate when the, if the game eventually launches on PlayStation? It's like, why are you guys wasting the energy? You know, why are you guys wasting the energy? You guys are looking like buffoons. You did this to like all these other games. Now that these games are, you know, coming to PlayStation and stuff like that, you now you want to suck them off and stuff like that. But like, why waste the energy? So Hellblade 2, once again, Best looking game, best UE looking game uh, to date so far until the next, ma until, maybe until Coalition's game, maybe until the next Gears, who knows. But it looks good. Yeah, disappointing that it's 30 FPS, but it looks good. Now people are trying to, the Digital Foundry video came out, and this is where the problem of digital foundry come into play and 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 them being too technical for these idiots they they break down the resolution of the game they said this was running somewhere between 964 uh and and 10 to 70 p but mindly that uh note just note that that resolution scale is 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 altered because it it is it can't give you a full screen since it's black barred is letterboxed is so that at that point you're already losing by default some peas, but if it was like a full screen thing, it'd probably you know be looking like a like traditional resolution, like you know what I mean. But um, but the resolution uh that there that whatever the game is, you know, doesn't really have any like negative impact on the visuals of the game. So. Mindly, everybody's running around on Twitter, like only quoting what they want uh, you to see. They only quote them the 964p, the 1070p. They make sure they don't put the part of the videos where they're like pretty much telling you, yo, this game is next level. Or when they close the video, we're like, yo, this is the best looking UE uh, game to date. They're trying to convince me and you that the the visuals that we're seeing of Hellblade 2 it's it's ugly because in text it's uh it's nine sixty four p people we've been playing this resolution gate is has died we've been playing these consoles for so long to the point that I don't even know if they still make native resolution games anymore by the way every game we've been playing for the better half of the last uh maybe six seven years have been on dynamic resolution or some sort of upscaling technique some sort of a reconstruction technique, whether it's a checkerboard, whether it's FSR, whether it's DLS, whether it's this, whether it's that, whether it's some homegrown like tech, we haven't played a native res game in almost forever, unless it's like some three bit, two bit indie game. We have not played a native res game. So when you when people are walking around writing down these numbers as if they know what they mean, 
And then they try to say, it's 964P. All right, show me. All right, put Hellblade. All right, 964P, right? What 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 other game is that? Let me go for a 900 uh, P game. A native 900 P game would be Rise in the Rome for Xbox One. Put that up against Hellblade Two and tell me if those two 900 P games look the same, please. I want you to convince me. People forget Rise in the Rome as a 900 P game looked better than any launch PS4 native 1080 P game, and it still actually looked better than a lot of games. But I digress. So there's this ongoing hate that people are pushing about like Hellblade. It's like for some reason, it, it's weird when it comes to Xbox. So that whenever they get a game or a game that they're about to uh, put out and it starts getting traction and people talk about it, they come in and they, they it's like it's like these dudes, uh, these PlayStation guys or these Xbox haters. It's like their their menstrual cycle kicks in full gear. Full gear. This is it's, it's, Xbox having games is equivalent to a woman getting her period. That, that that that's pretty much. They get the games and then they they get a fucking attitude problem. The PlayStation guys get an attitude problem and they start being uh what you call it? needy, complainy, attitudinal, having problems for no reason. Like and, and it's just mad, just just upset, and they got all this shit to say. And it's always coming from the people that don't game. A lot of these personalities on Twitter don't game. They're not gamers. They're just ultra casuals. They're popular on Twitter. They have a following on Twitter. That's what they do best. There are masters at Twitter. You know what I mean? They play Twitter at 4K, 120 hertz HDR. That's what they do. Twitter, X. You know what I mean, and I respect it because Twitter pays now, so I, I I don't I don't really get upset. I understand like you can monetize Twitter and, and you could be on some on some fuckery and get paid for it. But these guys don't game. They're not. They're, these guys are people I sit down and want to talk about video games with. I don't want to talk about video games with Red Dragon. I don't want to talk about video games with freaking um uh Xbox University. You know, I don't want to talk about video games because it's not gamers. They don't know what they're looking at. They got to be told everything. You got to be spoon fed. If a nigga got to tell you uh, some numbers to convince you that a game looks good, you're stupid. You're stupid. Dudes don't dudes don't trust their own eyes. Dudes be like, they're like, I don't know if this look good. They're saying it look good, but I wait for Digital Foundry. And Digital Foundry comes through. And start reading off numbers and and zooming in and counting whatever squares and what like and then if Digital Foundry says something that isn't native 4K, <laughs> the game looks bad. <laughs> that's that's what the because people were hesitant to say anything bad about Hellblaze visuals and all they were doing was focusing on the 30 FPS. They focus on that because that's something they could drive home. They could drive 30 FPS home. Right, but they couldn't say shit on the visuals because the game looked damn good. It looked real good. Game that game looking mm, ugh, game looking nasty. But the minute Digital Foundry was able to get some numbers to coincide with their eyes were seeing, and they saw that it was sub 1080p on native resolution, it was sub 4K. They were like, oh God, that game don't look good. It's soft. It's soft. The game is soft. They don't know what soft means. They don't know what soft means. We're looking at some of the highest visual fidelity produced in a video game, and these dudes got the nerve to be like, oh, my God, this is garbage. They, they can't do anything. They write off numbers, and they really try to they – don't, they, they don't trust their own eyes. You literally need Digital Foundry to read you some numbers for you to confirm if it looked good to you or not. That is stupid. It is the dumbest thing. And that's why I can't sit down and talk with these uh, these quote-unquote um, commentators. They're not gamers. They don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. They can't, they can't satisfy themselves. These, you know what? You know what it is? I'm almost certain these are people that specialize in like masturbating because they, they, they can't get off to anything. Honestly, they can't, they can't, they, they, you can't put 
you can't put eye candy in front of them because they wouldn't know whether it looked good or not. They they have to pleasure and please uh, themselves, or they someone has to tell them like, hey, this is this is good for you. You know, somebody has to spoon feed them, and that's how I see a lot of these individuals. But but they got a ner- the nerve to go on the you know the internet. They got the nerve to go on X and you know say all this stuff. I don't know why my camera is acting like that. I'm gonna try to switch in a little bit. They got the nerve to say all this stuff, and um, it, it, it's just it's it, it's just crazy. It's disingenuous. These people, very disingenuous. Um, and they can't be trusted. You can't have a conversation with half these people. Can't have a converse, a sensible conversation with uh, people that don't know, have no clue what they're talking about. Uh, every all I got to do is open up Twitter and and, and see something uh, said. Let me see if I quote tweeted anyone, man. I gotta I gotta see if I quote t- uh, tweeted people. Oh man, but. Uh, let me see what you guys are talking about. But like, 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 what do you guys think? Like, it's crazy how yesterday Hellblade 2 is, uh, it, it looks great, but it's, you know, people got, all they got to say is 30 FPS. Digital Foundry comes out and reads some resolution numbers. Now the game looks bad. Now the game looks bad. Uh, Shatterstar says, smooth, why damage control when you know the games are coming from places with more features and better performance? Uh, why damage control? Why, I don't think it's damage control. There's no damage to control here. I don't see damage controlling if me recognizing something is bad and I'm trying to make it good. I don't think nothing bad uh, about Hellblaze 2 visuals. And you you mentioned PlayStation. Uh, are you are you referring to like Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Blade? You want me to praise that uh, some cross-generation games, some last-generation games running on a PlayStation 5 on last-generation engines are running at 60 FPS at dynamic resolutions that drop below what we expect uh, from resolutions? 1080p. Like, I'm I'm supposed to be happy because Stellar Blade has a performance mode. The game, do, I and I said this from the jump, I don't think Stellar Blade is a visually appealing game. I stand by that. I played the demo. If the game improves by final release, that's one thing. But as it currently stands, the game is ashy. The temporal reconstruction technique that they're using is noisy. It's not It's not a visually impressive game. It's, it's not a next generation game to me. They took a PS4 slash Xbox One game paused it delayed it and released it on a playstation 5 that's it it better it should be 120 fps games most xbox one games were upgraded to 120 fps native xbox one games so i don't understand why um uh what you would call it why uh stellar blade isn't pushing um why isn't it pushing 120 in that case it's, it's it's not a pretty game, in my opinion. Not a pretty game at all. You know, it, 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 and the thing is, Stellar, Stellar Blade, again, and it's not a bad game. I said I want to play the game, but it's Stellar Blade, to me, in my opinion, it's a, it's, a, it's a budget game. I think the asking price is too high. Rise of the Ronin, not a pretty game by any stretch of the imagination. You guys thought, you guys literally thought that was going to be like the second coming of Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, my goodness, how you guys were wrong. Mm-mm. So, yeah, do I applaud for PlayStation for mandating their developers to say, hey, you have to have a performance mode? I don't, I don't got a problem with that because I think options should be there. I think all developers should provide options. You know what I mean? PlayStation is giving us a good example of what they can do, you know, at 120, at 60, uh, at 30. They, they've, they're they the best. And I've given PlayStation credit for being the best uh, ray tracing console. They have they, – they, demonstrated ray tracing better than xbox for sure and ps pro is going to be ps5 pro is going to be more of that this ray tracing but personally i i i kind of don't really care for ray tracing in my opinion i really don't it's not it hasn't been a selling feature for me when games have it and they do it right great but i i even when i play games on pc I'm, i don't really do anything with ray tracing um so 
yeah, PlayStation did a good job with performance uh, mode, but uh, Xbox has been releasing, you know, next gen games. There. Well, at least, I mean, I don't think PlayStation has a UE5 exclusive. You know, I don't think so. You know, and the games that they've been at least that they released so far throughout 2024 while they've released content i give them that these games aren't mega games they're not mega hits they're not doing anything special they're not pushing the envelopes they're i mean you if you want a conversation they give you something to do absolutely they did that but they're not special games so it, it, it just i can't stand to see people hate on uh video games because it's not produced by their by the pappy you know they poppy didn't produce it so they got a problem with it because it's produced by by xbox dudes will find anything to complain about and it's the worst it's toxic i can't stand i can't as well as i can't discuss gaming with you i don't get into party chats with none of these dudes none of that i i can't because they're not good for the hobby and now you got people crying about uh, video game models and how they look like dude honestly i never paid attention to a video game character to look up who the real actor is the only time I, that ever mattered to me is literally when video game developers hire real actors and they're using that actor to sell the game so when quantum break uh uh, was first revealed it, they weren't using Shauna Ashmore it was whatever they whoever they created whatever and then when the game got closer to lunch they revealed that Shauna Ashmore is the main protagonist and it made sense because they didn't just have Shauna Ashmore they had a lot of real actors in the game and it kind of helped hype the game a, a little bit because there were uh, known actors and actresses that you've seen Immortals of Avenue I know they're struggling right now um, but they have real actors in the game Forspoken has real actors in the game these other games like um like uh the last of us and uh um there's a uh, you know uh you know, fable and um there's a bunch of other games that are using where they are they're getting actors not real not big time actors but just actors to model their characters out of for the longest time i've always thought when they got like a when they're when they model their characters if it's not computer generated i just thought they were using it as a reference didn't like didn't that and they have the uh this, isn't that how they did um uh ellie and the last of us wasn't she they used ellie El, what, the, what the hell's her name I, I don't even she's a oh man she changed her uh he goes by elliot page but she was ellie page what the hell's her name um i don't even know if they use a real actor but i know she was a reference most games use actors or whatever they're making their character as a reference. And then after that, they do what they do to get whatever, how they perceive this character coming to life in their video games. So I, I don't expect, you know, Star Wars, right? Ubisoft is making a Star Wars game, right? It's, it's, it's their character. You know what I mean? I can see if they chose like, hey, you know, we're going to cast Halle Berry and then we're going to make her ugly make her don't look nothing like Halle Berry they got a character that they could scan and then they customize it it's just like us when we make when we play video games right and we play RPGs some of us have the time to want to go and create the character from scratch and measure the size of the nose and the forehead and the cheeks some of us have that patience I don't I typically pick a template never use um a surf uh the vpn things because it start messing with your stream are we better now refresh your screen refresh your screen and i'll be good so i can continue on refresh your screen all right now i compared like these developers using these you know actors to model like us playing rpgs some of us create um characters from scratch and we measure the forehead cheeks nose eyes whatever then some of us just pick a template and just adjust a few things and we keep it moving that's what developers are doing they use these people as reference and then they adjust it to their liking their liking so the fact that every time a video game is revealed and it's a female lead or something like that instead of them appreciating you know, uh, 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 whether it be a female lead or, you know, a, a person of color in the lead or whatever, 
they go straight to oh that character's ugly let me see who the real actress is like bro like think about this i, I t- this is when you know there's there, there it's a lot of it's a lot of like like small dick energy weird dick energy uh in gaming bro it's the first thing you go is try to determine how attractive a freaking uh a, a, a fucking pixel is of a character you're lame you're really like that's so it's just weird like i i don't that that's creepy stay away from children please that is creepy now that i think when you sit down and actually think about it and the logic they come up with some of these dudes are old ass men 40 50 some of these people are married i ho- i mean i hope you know and some are seeing, and they're literally upset because the video game character, uh, the the that they don't find a character quote unquote sexy. Now, if the video game character is sexy, does it make the game better? What can you do with this video game character? You know what I mean? What is it? Are you? I'm almost convinced these are the dudes that literally probably get off to like the female voice of Sari. That 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 that's what it because it's starting like what? All right, the character is sexy. Like so, Stellar Blade, right? This is all people do, and it's like all you all you want to do is just zoom up and look at cheeks, digital cheeks. I mean, how how horny can you be? Think about it. Think about it. Porn is practically free you don't have to pay for premium cable anymore you don't have to get the x-rated channels you don't have to subscribe to anything you don't have to buy specialty magazines you literally porn is damn near on twitter for free you got your free websites hell they're paying people to upload stuff just like like just like youtube so like you get you can see whatever you want almost anywhere what do you need it what do you need to be in a video game for? Like, what are you going to do? Like, does it make the game more interesting? I- I'm curious. Does it make the video game more interesting? I, I, I like, I, I don't know. Like, like, I get it. Yeah, there's a point. Yeah, all oh, that character. I mean, yeah, the character's ugly. It's a character. For, but the thing is, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Like, what do you... You guys play... I don't get it. Like, what do you do when you play video games as orcs and shit like that? Or males? Animals? Like, what benefit does it have if the video game character is sexy or not? I want to know... Matter of fact, I want to know what female gamers think of all the video games where they play as a lead. Yo, is, is Marcus Phoenix attractive to your liking? What about Beard? What about Cole? They gave Cole, uh, not uh, Cole. Was it, is it Cole? Cole Train? Yeah. They gave him a big ass rock head. Did, did y'all find him attractive? I, do I have any female gamers in the chat that can comment on the likeness and the sexiness of the male uh, characters in these video games that you guys had to experience for the better half of 30 plus years? Because, you know, you know, males dominate video. You know, that, that never was a conversation. But now we're getting a lot of female leads in video games outside of Laura Croft and whatnot. And now there we got to have these, the, 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 they got to hit some sort of milestone, this visual, pre- like, what? What? Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. He said, why make them ugly on purpose? How do you know they're making them ugly on purpose? Maybe that's how they envisioned the character to, to look in their video game. If you notice, when they're modeling characters after real actors that they hired for a game, they look pretty spot on to who they hired. But when the character is based on what they created and and they just have it's just how they want them to look. Like the like, think about it. What do you expect? the the fable character like me personally i thought a game like fable you would just create your own character anyway that that's how i look at that i just thought you create your own character if you create your own character and i hope they you can what does it matter what the the default model they use look like like master shepherd 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 and freaking mass effect right 
<laughs> Mass Effect. Don't you create your own character? How many of you guys actually use the actual Shepard default? Hmm. Like, I, I don't understand. Why do you make him ugly? Nigga, it's a game. It's a video game. And what happens in video games, right? In most video games, what happens? It, 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 death, die, hurt, brutal. Most of the games we play, if it's an action game, what does it matter? What does it matter? Says Phil Spencer uh, wants the mother. This isn't a Phil Spencer problem. This isn't a Phil Spencer problem. And by and large, not at all. This is not a Phil Spencer problem. This is a most. This is what video game makers are doing. This is they're doing what they want. What their games. And the crazy thing is, a lot of people have beef with all these games. But a lot of these games coming out are actually very uh pretty good video games. Uh, in terms of uh, content, content, story, graphics. These games are generally pretty good. But the only complaint you have is the girl. When it's a girl lead, they're not attractive and uh, attractive enough. Like, it just makes you guys like very, very, uh, oh, weird, very weird. You said the girl on New Outlaws game don't even look bad. Nah, I mean I don't know. I don't. I don't ju I don't care uh, if, if she looks bad or not. Is the game good? That's all I, I just want to know. I like Ubi. I typically like Ubisoft games for the for the most part. So I got a feeling the game's going to be good. Am I going to have a fun time playing the game? At the end of the day, I don't care how sexy the person looks or the the, the character looks. It, it has no impact on me personally. It's it, it's it's going to be the last like thing I'm worried about. Now, there's things that I've had like for example, when I comment on characters, I comment, like, for example, back when Horizon Zero Dawn came out, I didn't, like, it wasn't that really Aloy's look that bothered me. It was her, how they made her out to be. They made her seem very dykish. They made her seem standoffish when, it, when she came across, like, male counterparts, and she was very, like, how can I say it? There was... She was very, uh, I, can, I can't even describe it, but it was never really her, her, look, her looks. Now I do, <laughs> uh, I do. I will say in Horizon Forbidden West, they made Aloy look like she had a few too many Twinkies in the cheeks. But again, at the end of the day, it is with it. He stopped the game from looking good. I personally thought the game was boring, but that had nothing to do with like character-wise. You know, what's up, Fantastic Max? Hit the like button, hit the share button, please, please, please. Um, but I, I, I don't know, man, you guys got to uh, question yourself. I, you, you, should, you should all ask yourself, why do you care what a game character looks like or how close it looks like to the person is they're modeling? If you want, there are games that exist that has one-to-one -one lookalikes. Immortals of Avium got a lot of actors in there. Um, for spoken has a lot of actors in there. Quantum Break has a lot of actors in there. Um, there's there's a lot of like games that do that, but when people are utilizing their own vision, their own creations, then they have the freedom to design how the character how they want. You know what I mean? Most of the games we play are literally based in the apocalyptic scenarios, or not even take place on planet Earth. And you guys worried about these things? Like it, it's stupid, man. It's really stupid. Tracy got game says it's not important if the female character is cute. It's 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 a small plus because I may buy a poster for the character, and if the man character looks cool, I may buy the poster only if I like the game. I don't know, man. Um, I get it, but I don't, I, don't, I don't do posters. I don't got no posters hanging up. Um, I'm trying to think of the last video game poster I've ever, if ever. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Wallpaper-wise, uh, console wallpaper, backgrounds, yeah, computer background, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think the most I've ever done was Halo and Gears. I, don't, I haven't really ventured too far off that. Um but uh, I mean, I, I get it, but 
I think the energy online is just very, you know, toxic and weird. You know, it's either is always is either video game characters not looking like sexy enough uh, in video game com. Right, let's um um this I think <laughs> Red Dragon is one of the corniest shit people on the planet. So. This man, uh, let me see if I get, let me see if I have room to uh, share these tweets, man. Oh my goodness, uh, I'm a, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do this, man. Twitter, because people don't like being called out on their fuckery and their bullshit. They don't, they don't like it. They get, they get their hearts broken. They get hurt feelings, and um. They, you know, they take it to another level, right? So here we are, right? Red Dragon uh, is quote to me because I, I, it's like, why do you have an issue with things I do, especially this tweet? All right, so earlier uh, today, um, no rest for the wicked. They posted like clips of people reacting to the, to the game, right? But. There were video reactions, but the video reactions was them to like killing just regular AI. Some of them were executions, and some of them were just simple sword swipes. And they were like, "Oh my god, they did! Oh, that's gruesome!" It was like, it was like oh, that's kind of. I was like, so I tweeted. I was like, "This game looks cool." I give the game props because No Rest for the Wicked does look good. I'm looking forward to playing it when it comes to um, uh, consoles. And I said the game looks cool indeed, but. It looked like a bunch of people overreacting to symbol combat executions. What I don't understand. That's that's what it was, and that's was true. And then this fuck dude uh, says people are overreacting to basic combat. Also, he quotes me saying, um, "Hellblitz combat is horrible." This is from 2018. You got to go back six years. And I still feel the same way about Hellblade One's combat. I, I've never shied away against that. I don't think there's a tweet that exists of me praising any of Hellblade's combat to any degree. So, so Google that. The fucking dickhead. These fucking country ass dickheads. All right. Um, he says, uh, and then he, he, somebody he, and but look at these are still hold true. This dude says combat is lit smooth. Just need to get used to it. I was like, nah, it's basic, slow, and core. Think about it. I don't understand this flex he's trying to do. He's literally post quote tweeting me, tweeting something that's pretty much similar. I'm reacting to no rest for the wicked people reacting to simple combat, and then he posts me talking about Hellblades simple combat. So where's the contradiction? Where's the contradiction? I can see if this image was me talking about how great Hellblade combat was, but it's not. It's me pretty much calling it very simple, slow and choreographed. That's what I said about Hellblade's combat. So what is the point, Red Dragon? What is the point? What is the point? Oh, uh, people are, are still mad at me. This tweet blow up because uh, uh, I said, um, "See a thieves." Uh, this is the most advertising I've seen from an Xbox game um, in a long time. Don't even think see if these had much, this much marketing during the original Xbox One launch. PlayStation must have marketing rights. I do believe that Xbox don't market their games to the degree they, that they should. And I question it. I've always questioned it. Been talking about it for years. That's not going to change until Xbox start showing me that they can do effective marketing. All right. Let me let, let's see what this motherfucker says. All right. Resolution is not graphics. Most UE5 games native resolution is sub 1080p. This is true. This is facts. Every time they do a graphics analysis on a UE5 game, you will find that the native resolution is going to be somewhere low. Low. They do that even even non UE games. The native resolution is typically lower. Uh, and they reconstruct to whatever resolution they're trying to get to, whether that's 1440p, whether that's 4K. There's no lie detected in my tweet. Because people don't know what they're talking about. 
ex oh, oh my god so he says jack goff says true but when what then what's the point of using unreal engine 5 if that game looks worse than most others immortals of avium is ue5 because of low resolution and it looks worse than some last gen games on last gen consoles hell that's not the case for hellblade hellblade again is the best looking game to date now immortals of avium reason why he's saying it looks worse because he's playing in performance mode immortals of avium is a good looking game truly but when played in performance mode it loses a lot of that zest and it becomes noisy like stellar blade and stellar blade is running on unreal engine 4 so yeah, the performance mode of Immortals of Avium, well, and, and it and it sucks because it's not even like a lock uh, sixty FPS. It it's noisy. It's a it's a noisy, fuzzy mess when played in first it, when played in at the performance mode, and it sucks because it's a first person like action game, first person shooter. Even though you shoot magic and stuff like that, uh, but that game had potential. Story's good. The character, the casting, uh, the facial animations and stuff like that. The game looks good, but it's a hard pass. Uh, to play at 30 fps in a game like that that's when you're going to get the peak visuals but performance mode is like i would prefer i prefer i've been paying it at uh 60 fps but i'm waiting for um then the, there's another update that they're going to do they're going to try to include frame gen which bless said is going to be uh horrible on consoles but oh we we shall uh see that for sure we i'm curious to see how that um turns out oh my god oh no 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 my bad hold on why is this not like there you go i'm also no, i got these youtube my bad uh, let me get back to twitter i didn't mean to look at myself uh hellblade I'm gonna... come on there we go all right damn how many there we go so so in this case, like Jack Goff is like pretty wrong um, in this scenario. Um, he, he's essentially a uh, wrong in this uh, case because uh, Immortals Avenue, like I said, it looks good, but in performance mode, it does not. It does not. Uh, Sir Dre the Grace, that's smooth. You gas in the mortals. LOL, the game is okay at best. I didn't say it was awesome, it does, but it does a couple, it's underrated. It does a couple of things great, and I think it does the story great. I think I like the actors, and uh, like I'm a fan of the actors in the game for their like, uh, the main dude you play as. I think he's in, um, oh my god, what is it that he playing? Uh, Damn it. I feel like I can't think of it. It's something that I feel like I've recently watched. Uh, but I like him as an actor. The woman she plays on Suits, uh, the lawyer. Um, I, uh, so I was good to see her in there. A star shadow. What makes me in denial? Why am I in denial? What is there to be in denial about? Like, I'm like, what is, really? What really is there to be in denial about? Think about like I don't understand. I don't understand that. Verge Bridge says, "Smooth." I'm ninety percent of the way out of gaming Twitter. People are stupid, act stupid, or blatantly lie for attention. Yeah. 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 I'm with you on that one. Uh, Blessed Red said, Immortals is 720p. Remnant 2 is 862p. Lords of the Fallen is something similar. It's a trade-off. What is that? Those are all sub 1080p for games running on UE5. And, and, and the thing is, people read these numbers. It, you know what's crazy? People should just admit they don't want next generation games. Not on these, not on these consoles. No, the peak for Xbox and PlayStation is playing Xbox One and PS4 games on your new systems at higher resolution, 
a higher frame rate, but those aren't next generation games. Not next generation experiences. We're finally when when from 2020 to 2022 when we're getting those games and the FPS boost in 120 frames, we it was our moment to experience what PC people experience, right? Now and and that's also why you guys are so hyped for the impending PS5 Pro, just so you can play PS four games and PS5 games with the ray tracing. I'm curious to see how they sell ray tracing commercially. Like I want to know what's going to be the tagline because the primary purpose of a PS5 Pro is better ray tracing. That's it, which is it's not even needed at this point, but it, it will create a much bigger gap between Xbox um and playstation um ray tracing performance so there's going to be games xbox ain't going to have ray tracing playstation will and, and xbox ray tracing is already gimped um compared to playstation um but that's the that's the thing what uh, that's the amd issue playstation did even though they using amd their feature a lot of their stuff is like custom um and what they're doing uh, I I, for, I think they're rate. Uh, it's like was it Vulcan or something like that? What they use that kind of that they're heavily based around. But I think Xbox, if they do a next gen console, they which they are. Um, I think they really should roll with Nvidia. Nvidia because I, I think it's that's what I would have done personally. It's just I know their arm is a big thing, but as far as console, I would have probably rolled with it, it, Nvidia because. You got DLS, and you're going to have better ray tracing performance. AMD can't not um, mess with NVIDIA on um, uh, upscaling techniques and uh, resolution reconstruction, and they can't mess with them on ray tracing uh, performance. Um, but that's, if I was Xbox, that's what I would do. I would just go to NVIDIA for my next uh, console. Yeah. Uh, Bless it, yo. They'll add RT mode here and there. Like Cyberpunk has RT shadows, it will add RT reflections as well. Yeah, I guarantee you, uh, Cyberpunk is going to be the showpiece game for the PS5 Pro. It's literally going to be the showpiece game. It's going to be the major third party game they use to show off what uh, PS5 Pro can use. I'm um, trying to uh, ratchet and clank. Uh, they'll probably use, um, they'll, they'll do that. Uh, Spider-Man, they'll probably show it off. They'll start turning on more ray tracing features and whatnot. Um, but at, at this point, like, yeah, man, at this, I'm curious to see how how much is going to cost. But I, I just, just get a freaking PC. I and I'm not saying that because I'm a PC gamer. I am not. I don't claim it but we're at a situation is what happened is we got spoiled by some of the perks of these new gen consoles and we want more of it and we're about to hit this roadblock where we're not going to get it we're going to we're going to keep seeing lower resolutions on these higher fidelity games or we're going to see keep seeing struggling at 60 fps less likely of 120 fps games on these newer games and if you really want that i mean xbox and playstation did give us a good taste of it on our current gen games but if you really want to dive deep and dwell into that pc is the next likely upgrade for most people and the thing is the thing that keeps me doing i literally for me to properly retire console gaming is one i need the top of line pc that's going to that's going to i need a pc now that when next gen launches, I don't have to really, I don't have to care about it, right? And I, I do need Xbox to find a way to be a hundred percent compatible uh, with PC. Like, there's a lot. I still buy games on my Xbox 360 era um, the, and stuff that isn't on PC, or I still got games that you know Xbox have the ability. And if Xbox find a, if Xbox console next console finds a way to do where their AI is in place where they auto but on a system level doesn't require updates doesn't require dev work 
allow the console itself to take all those games, old games, whether it's Xbox One, Xbox 360, whatever, and up res and up and, and FPS boost automatically. Like it's something that I control on my own. I would be sad. I, I will maintain um, gaming on um, console. Um, that's why I think I will still keep an Xbox around because I still have reason to do so. The backlog is just too great. But for future games, current games, yeah, I, I mean, I would I would probably naturally transition into PC gaming. But I, I my PC literally needs to be about like a four thousand dollar rig for me to f- feel satisfied with it. These modular increases and upgrades that I'm doing is not satisfying me and i keep running into bottlenecks right now i'm running into bottlenecks my current pc bill is a freaking big ass bottleneck uh but that's my uh you know thoughts on that yo in the chat turn up let me hear what you guys say about this topic what's your th- your thoughts on hellblade 2 um and the xbox we got you know gears coming the showcase net ease uh, we're still waiting for activision blizzard to um uh, to like really actually start filling up the Xbox Game Pass uh, backlog, we got physical same uh, game sales like down. Digital being primarily all of game purchases. Like, what are y'all thoughts? What are y'all thoughts? What is this? Oh, somebody deleted it. He probably said something, said something stupid because it's deleted. All right. He said at 60 FPS targeted, though. What is he? Uh, Robocop, Robocop, DF. I don't know. All right, like, why is he sending me this? What is he responding to? Resolution is not graphics. Most UE5 games, native resolution is sub 1080p. At 60 FPS targeted, though. Still doesn't kill my point. My point still holds true. And now I'm an avid RoboCop supporter. I think up until this point, I thought it was the best looking uh, game I played. Uh, I played primarily in performance mode and I play, I, I tried it in um, quality mode. It, it looks really clean. It looks really clean. It did a, a good job, but it was a, a fun game to play. It got a hundred percent completion, but at the end of the day, it does not kill my point. Hellblade 2 looks better than RoboCop based off what we're seeing. And I'm not saying that and, and, and RoboCop has like, you know, a lot of close up shots and decent quality models. And you can see the flaws there and whatnot. But I'm not going to shame RoboCop. I thought RoboCop was a really, really, really good game. Like I bought RoboCop when it was on sale for uh, myself and I bought it for a few people on my friends list. Uh, so they can check it out because that was a, a a beauty to behold, awesome game. I I recommend RoboCop if you haven't played it. Uh man, let's see, bro. H step. Ro uh, uh, uh Porter Rock says something that kind of like irked me a little bit because it didn't make no sense. He's he says. The the issue is not providing 60 FPS performance mode. You can still have all the bells and whistles at 30 FPS, but performance mode should be a standard practice. That is pushing console gaming forward and creating a new standard for console gaming. I disagree. I agree and disagree. I agree that there should always be a choice, especially now these days, since they accustom. We've been accustomed to 60 FPS and performance modes and stuff like that, so it should remain. They should find a way to work it out. You know, whether or not, I don't care how bad the game looks at doing it, it should be there. You know what I mean? It should be there. But saying that 60 FPS is push it, pushing console gaming forward and that creating a new standard for console gaming 60 fps was actually a standard before so i don't understand 60 fps is not a new thing it's not a new um a new like discovery it's not a new thing in gaming it just comes and goes it came and went as games became uh back in the day games were more simpler it was a little bit it was much easier to achieve games now are more advanced it's a lot of pixies and polygons that we're pushing so all this other stuff that we want 
So it's it, and it's expensive to do it at 60 FPS. 60 FPS being standard isn't next generation. It's not moving gaming forward. If they discovered like a new uh, generation of frame rate counting or uh, doubling or generating frame rates, that's that's one thing. But just 60 FPS is not new. You know, 60 FPS is not new. It's not. Neither is 120 FPS. They're not new. You know, what would be crazy? What would be moving gaming forward is like, remember uh, plasma screen TVs? I don't even know if they still exist, but plasma TVs used to push a lot. They used to be at like minimum 600 hertz and shit like that. Like it's crazy, crazy shit. Imagine if they, you had games that were trying to match a refresh hertz of a plasma TV, like 600 FPS or some shit like that. Think, think about that. That's like, that's where you could be like that. But 60 FPS, nah, nah. Mm -mm. And I'm not saying that, and, and people going to uh, clip that. I'm not saying that because I think 60 FPS is bad or anything. Like that. There's 60 FPS should always be an option. It feels better than 30 FPS, and in terms of motion of the game, it looks better than uh, 30 F, uh, than 30 FPS. I like playing games at 60, 60 FPS. It's hard to go back, but I've played games, you know, this generation at 30 FPS, and and didn't have quite a problem. Uh, the medium. Thought was a good game. A lot of people didn't uh, play that. It was a, a early, you know, Xbox Series release. I think it later came to PS5. 30 FPS game. Um, don't know quite why, but it didn't really. After playing through the game, it's like okay. It, but I didn't have a. Re I couldn't ex extre figure out a reason why it wasn't 60 FPS. But it not being 60 FPS didn't really bother me. Starfield came out. That actually being sixty FPS, uh, being thirty FPS, didn't bother me because they, their motion blur, whatever they did, their response time and motion blur was on point with that game, and the game just felt good and it looked good to me. But I still, I, but I also had an opportunity to play it on PC, and I did like 60, 40, 60 percent on Xbox because I got it early access uh, through the review period, and then when it fully released, I was able to uh, play a lot of it on PC. Um, and I had a good time with it. And I'm probably going to do the DLC when that release on probably on PC, but I didn't have an issue with it on console. Redfall I had an issue with, but I had an issue with Redfall um on console and PC. Um I, I don't I still to this day don't understand why I didn't launch with a performance mode, but Re Redfall was very unoptimized across all platforms. Um I tried uh I never I I didn't play Redfall on console. Until after you get the 60 FPS update. When Redfall came out, I went straight on PC. Wasn't feeling it. Couldn't hold a 60 at all, no matter what I did. Um, I wasn't having fun with it. They updated it for Xbox. Played it there. 60 FPS. The, my performance was better, believe it or not, than what I was getting on my PC. But the game itself is not fun. So I never finished the game. Um, the So, like, Hellblade. I don't, it, it, Hellblade, it looks good. It looks really good, so I'm gonna see what see what's up. I'm gonna I'm gonna play on both PC and Xbox. I'm just gonna see the thing about PC though. There's always a trade off for me. I want to since this is the the best looking UE5 game you know to date. I want to maximize what I can get visually, and I'm curious to see what's the best I can get visually at the highest frame. And that's the whole point about PC. I don't want to trade. I just want the best I can possibly get. You know what I mean? And if that's like 4K 60, then that's what I, how I want to play. If it's 1440p 60, then that's how I'm going to play. Uh, 1080p, I don't know if I want to play at 1080p. But again, I have a 3070 Ti, which is a, a 8 gigabyte card, which is not cutting it for anything, honestly. Um, But I'll see, see what it takes to get 60 FPS on Hellblade 2. But I'm not sweating it. The game looks that good on Xbox. They sh they're showing it off on Xbox. People are playing it. They're doing previews on the Xbox. Uh, I, I have nothing to be ashamed of. It looks it looks like it's gonna uh, it's look like it's gonna look good. He said, "Tommy Bull says 964 P shaking my head." He said, "Plasma still exists overseas." <laughs> All uh, right, where we go? What we saying? Uh, yeah, Bless said, 
let's say it could probably sell your PC for fourteen hundred dollars. I probably could, right? Uh, Sixty FPS games won't typically push technology technology nowadays on a console. Back in the PS2 days, yeah, that's when most of the games were like 60 FPS. Uh, all right, we got you, Star Shatter still on his trolling stuff. He says 964p at 30 FPS on the world's most powerful console. Shaking my head again, you guys don't understand context. You guys don't understand context. 964p on the Xbox Series X ue5 is different than 964p on a nintendo switch unreal engine 3.5 you know you know it, there's a difference there's levels to this shout out to doc dark 1985 there's levels to this. like it's 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 it, it becomes stupid because this when you stop like when your your eyes you can't you guys are no longer trusting your eyes you you don't believe what your eyes is telling you you're telling me because now that prior to seeing Hellblade, you saw Hellblade all these times, right? And now that you know that that gorgeous piece of work is 964p is no longer a gorgeous piece of work. It no longer looks good. That's, I don't know. I think that, I think that's like stupid. I think it's remedial. I think it's remedial behavior. Like it's like up syndrome. I don't know. Like I, 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 I don't understand, man. I, I don't get it. Oh man, I, I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. Uh, that energy. Oh man, he says, "Oh, why I got this? These logos stuck on our um." He says the higher resolution. I know blessed is going back and forth for someone. High resolution uh, fair with a more demanding having nanite lumen VS. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Even if 4090 needs to go to 1080p to get a solid 80 plus FPS in UE5. And that's a shame. That is a shame. The games are taxing. UE5 is taxing. Everybody wants to use it, it's expensive. And it, it clearly has an impact on uh, performance. But the beauty about Hellblade 2, right? It's the best looking game. It's, it's a triple A you know, experience. Uh, people are upset that it's digital only. People are upset that it's $50, you know, $20 less than Stellar Blade. Um, and people are upset that it's... Um, uh, I wouldn't say what's it six to eight hours. You know what I mean? Um, whatever they're targeting, it's like people find things to be mad at. Now the the crazy thing is is that you know one you're not forced to buy the game. Um, you're not forced to play it on Xbox. So this whole this whole talking point, right? For for all these people not to have an Xbox or don't want an Xbox. To, and again, it's, I don't understand what's the point of hating on games that aren't on PlayStation. You can play it on PC, and you can play it at higher than 964p. You can play it at higher than 30 FPS, depending on your, your, your rig. So a lot of these talking points are completely irrelevant to some of the audience. And in, the, in the case of sales, most of the audience. So it's like... Why is it even a talking point, right? Why is it even a talking point? We're talking about the biggest talking point out of Hellblade 2. Mind you, the game exists on both PC, Xbox, and, and cloud, and all this other stuff. Why is it a headline when you're, you're not limited to that? You're not, limit, you're not limited to 964p. Shit, the Xbox Series S users probably got a lower native, uh, likely a lower native res. That's like probably like 684, 480p, whatever. And I guarantee you they still find a, a way to make it look good on that platform. Um, but if you're on PC, you got a decent enough PC, you can get a native resolution. You can get a higher frame rate. The game existed. The game doesn't start and end with Xbox. So my thing is, it's like, why is there even a conversation about it if you have other ways of play that makes it completely irrelevant? Why is it a discussion? I don't understand it. 
I don't understand it, man. Bro. Yo. All right. Shouter Star says the Series X is more powerful than the PS5 smooth, but I've never seen a single first party game on PS5 at 964p and without a performance mode. Um okay. Uh I'm not I don't I don't pixel count, but I there's a lot of PS5 exclusives that are sub 1080p. Final Fantasy for spoken um Returnal was uh, Rise of the Ronin. Isn't Hell Divers like 1080p itself? Um, like, you keep saying you haven't seen a game that nice, but to me, in my in my opinion, none of those games look as good as Hellblade at 964p. None of those games look as good as Hellblade 2 as nine, at 964p. So all these games that you have on PlayStation that are uh 1080p you know 1292p that's like the uh, 1440p a uh, 1620p don't look as good as hellblade 2 at 964p and that's pure facts pure irrefutable undeniable facts Like, it is what it is. There's not a single game from PlayStation First Party right now that looks better than Hellblade 2. Not a single game. Not a single game. In my opinion. I don't care if it's first party, second party, or third party. If it's a PS5 exclusives... This is how I look at PS5 exclusive, right? If you if you if you're a game that's good enough to not come on Xbox and you're exclusive to PS5, you better be one of the best looking games possible. Better the best looking games possible. If, if PlayStation felt strong enough about your IP to sign you on as a, for, you better you on you you on part you essentially second party, right? And especially if it's an IP that they own or have publishing rights to, that's treated like a first party. So, mm, hmm. wow. But now I just wanted to, you know, air out some of this energy that I had, like, because I was like, I couldn't make, just make a video. I just couldn't make it just a, just a simple video, bro. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Um. Because the video will last too long. But um, Xbox, like whatever. You know, the thing I do want to comment on is because uh, Xbox has uh, could have a lot more hype surrounding it if they didn't self-sabotage. So meaning they didn't do all this multi-plat stuff. They should have just let they were on pace to have like a, a crazy year, which is they, they still gonna have a crazy year in terms of game releases. But people at least, maybe we'll see what happens in the summer, but people aren't as hyped as they were, right? Because the thought is these games are gonna go on PlayStation. So people aren't is it's like now these games are being treated like third party games. It's like people are happy about them generally, but they but they're not like super excited and that's because xbox literally self-sabotaged had they just let things like you know let the year ride out they would have been it would have been fine but when you consider that you know hellblade 2 best looking game come out next month you got avowed to me and it looks avowed looks good to me i'm a lot of people crap on about, but I think that game looks very good. I can't wait to play it. It's like it's hitting that, scratching that nerve that I need to play, man. I'm looking forward to it. That's coming out. Indiana Jones looks great. That's coming out. Um, Stalker 2 is coming out. Um, Tower Born. Uh, there's a... Uh, Another thing we you know we're hearing about is there going to be another Forza Horizon game? We're supposed to be seeing gears like they're going to have a a, a good year. Call of, uh, the the next Call of Duty, um, 
uh, is coming out potentially on, on Game Pass. I'm not sure when Call of Duty's cutting off. When are they going to cut off the PS4 and the Xbox One? This is the longest, I think, Call of Duty lasted into... I think the last... I think the last Call of Duty for the 360 and PS3 was Black Ops 3. And I think it only launched with the multiplayer, did not launch with a campaign. And that was the third. You got Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Black Ops. That was the third Call of Duty into the new generation was the last one. Right now we're at Call of Duty. The first one was Call of Duty Cold War. Call of Duty, um, uh, damn, is, I want to mix them up, was World War, there was Cold War, there was Vanguard, I think, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and yeah, so they should, I, I want. I wonder if this one's going to be a PS5, Xbox Series only, uh, or are they still going to carry the Xbox One and a and the PS4 with this one? Um, we shall see. We shall see. Shatterstar one eighty seven says, "Why is it that?" Why is that shit at 964p with no performance mode, but PC get all the bells and whistles, and PS will receive it with all the bells and whistles as well? Why? Why do you think the PlayStation Five is gonna get the same game with the uh, is gonna get it with the bells and whistles? What bells and whistles is the PS Five is gonna get? And you keep think you keep saying the PC bells and whistles. The PC is gonna get whatever bells and whistles you your PC has installed. Like not every like. Bro, like the thing is, whatever your PC you have, you're gonna get whatever your PC can do with that game. That's either can be on par with Xbox, a slightly better than Xbox, or a lot better than Xbox, or not much better than Xbox. We, I don't know, but nobody knows. Everybody has a different configuration PC setup. So, PC, you have the potential. To play Hellblade 2 with all the bells and whistle. You have the potential. So whatever PC rig you have, you have the potential, assuming you have the right parts in your PC. Now, I'm going to say this. The Xbox probably doesn't have the performance mode because they designed the game. They got to the, the visual peak they were achieving, and they managed to do that on Xbox Series X at 964p and 30 FPS. If that's what, if Hellblade 2 is 964p, 30 FPS, in terms of, and that's what I get at 964p, bring on more 964p games at Hellblade 2 visual quality. And I'm looking forward to see what Gear 6 is, because I know Gear 6 is going to be at. 60 fps i already i i already know that so that i'm that's not even a concern but if you're telling me that hellblade what we're seeing hellblade look like it is it, it, no that's i feel like the xbox is getting hellblade with all the bells and whistles just just getting it at 30 fps if they feel comfortable showing that game on xbox making people play it on xbox they feel like the Xbox was a, a demonstrable showcase for them to show it to the world. And they don't, they're not limited to Xbox. Think about this. Ninja Theory is not limited to Xbox. They could have showed it on PC and it not be a problem at all. They could have easily showed it on PC. They're not limited to Xbox. They're, they're, they, make, they make games. Xbox is a platform. Xbox technically could show all their games running on PC because they're not limited to Xbox. They literally can show all their games running on PC and just leave everybody guessing what, how it's going to perform on um, Xbox. They're not beholden to Xbox, but they showed you it on Xbox. They feel the game is good enough that they, they, that they was able to achieve what they set out to achieve visually for Hellblade 2 that they showing you on Xbox. 
chin, uh, I'm pretty sure the PC obviously look uh, probably look better at a native, you know, high, higher native resolution. You could probably turn off film grain and you'll get obviously a, a, a higher um, a higher frame rate that they could have showed. Easily could have showed that. But they did. They showed Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, Mike Jess says Ninja Theory could have showed on PS5. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man, yo. But make sure you hit that like button. Hit, hit that like button, hit that share button. I think I've been going live for an hour and fifteen. So uh, I I'm about to uh uh skedaddle out of here. If somebody sees an addict tell him i need a thumbnail for this uh chat here i need a thumbnail for this uh stream um and i'm probably going to do another one tomorrow if something stupid happens or i might play some game i've been trying to lock in on the game but ah man games have these games haven't been hitting the way i need it to nothing has locked me in yet you know what i mean so we we shall see we shall see we shall see we shall see all right guys man um thank you guys for tuning in you know xbox is the best box i am the best bot um good night no or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe no we out of here peace jiggy tape too soon um hopefully i could drop it like a another video a skit or something like that i'm not sure i haven't been too inspired so but I appreciate you guys coming through, man. Hit the like button, hit the share button. I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, Jenna Hayes says, do you have a Caribbean background? Nah. American. American. Just American. No. Um... He's a guy saying that sign off is cringe. I can't, I can't. Um, I've been saying this so long, I don't know what to say. I'll just end up saying good night. But no, no, no. It's that's it's something that stuck, that sticks. It works. It works. Um, he says background's Africa. But I'm going to see you guys on the next one, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace.